Okay, welcome once more to Joshua Pua Online Math. In this video, we'll be talking about undefined fraction. In other words, sometimes you can be given a fraction and be asked to find the values of x or y or k or whatever that is used to find the values of, like in this question we're having on the board, find the values of x for which this fraction is not defined. Is not defined. Now, for what values of x will this, will this fraction not be defined? It is when the denominator is equal to zero. When the denominator is equal to zero, that is when we can say that this value of this, um, the, this fraction is not defined. So our job here, or the purpose of this kind of question, is for you to do what? To concentrate on the denominator. Equate the denominator to zero, and then solve for the values of x, and that is the values of x for which that fraction is not defined or undefined. Remember in our previous video, we posted, we, 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 we solved questions relating to the values of x for which the fraction is equal to zero. I will say when you see questions like that, you concentrate in the numerator. But this time, our attention is in the denominator. Is that clear? So whenever you hear undefined, attention is where? Denominator. So now let's do that now. Looking at the two questions we're having on the board, so we're going to quickly solve them now to demonstrate what I've just explained right now. So, like for instance, here we're going to concentrate on the denominator. So the a now, our denominator here is what? 5x minus 20, which equals to 0. So the values of x here, for us to get the value of x, we have to equate this denominator to 0. That's what we have done. And then we're going to find the values of x. Looking at this, this is just a linear equation. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to collect like terms. So this is what 5x equals to what? 20 divided both sides by 5, divided both sides by 5. So x equals to 5 here, 1. 5 is 4. S equals to 4. So therefore, for this value, for this fraction to be undefined, the value of x must be equal to what? Must be equal to 4. So that is it. Not difficult at all. Very, very simple. So let's use a second example now. Example 2 now. Let's look at example 2. We have, um, that is B now. 2x minus 16 over x squared minus 11x plus 24. Again, remember our attention is in where? In the denominator. So our denominator here is what? x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals to what? 0. So we're going to find the values of x here now. Now if you look at it, you see that this is a quadratic word. Equation, that is what we have here. So what will I do? We're going to quickly use factorization method again to solve this because it's very simple. So looking at this, remember, when you are solving questions, if um, you want to use factorization method, remember you ask, we ask just two questions. And what are they? The first one is this. What you will find, you ask yourself, what two number will I multiply it together? So that my answer will be what? 24. And when I add them or subtract them, my answer will be what? Minus 11. Especially when the coefficient of x squared is 1 here. Yeah, that is when that applies. So we just go straight down. Look for two numbers that when you multiply them together, you're going to get 24. And when you subtract them or add them, you will get what? Minus 11. So I haven't said that. So what question, what two number comes to our mind? Mm, I'm going to say, okay, let's look at what are the factors of 24. Ah, is it 12 and 2? No, it's not going to work. Oh, huh? what other number? What are you using now? But I say 6 and 4, 6 times 4 is 24. No, it's not going to work. Oh, there's another one. 8 and 3. 8 times 3 is what? 24. And 8 plus 3 will give me what? Will give me 11. But remember, I'm having minus 11 here. So what will I do? So that means that minus 8 and minus 3. Minus times minus will give me plus. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 8 minus 3 will give you what? Minus 11. So those factors will be what? Minus 8 and minus 3. So what will I do? In place of minus 11s, I'm going to replace it with this. So let's do that. So this is what? S squared minus 8x minus 3x plus 24 equals to 0. So I will group them. Okay? So looking at these two now, what they have in common is x. x times x will give me what? S squared. X times 4 will give me 8S. S times 8. That is it. Look at this now. I'm going to bring down the minus. What they have in common? We can look for that is 3. 3 is the common factor here. So 3 times 4 will give me 3S. That is what? X. Okay. Now look at minus. 
What will I multiply by minus 3 so that my answer will be plus 24? Give the one minus 8. Minus times minus is plus. 3 times 8 is 24. Plus 0. So this is what? So I'll look at the bracket. They are the same. So I'm going to take the first one. X minus 3. See, um, okay, let me not do that yet. And then X minus 8 equals to 0. So this means that X minus 3 is equal to 0 or X minus 8 is equal to 0. Meaning that X equals to what? 3 or X equals to what? 8. And that is our final answer. So that is it. So like in second question, now for what values of X will this second question not be defined? When x is 3 or when x equals to what? 8. So these are the two conditions. So when x is equal to 3 or x equals to 8, this particular fraction will not be what? Will not be defined. So that is it. That is what the question is all about. That is what this thing is all about. So whenever you ask, solve this, find the following value of x or y for which the following fraction is not defined, please don't think it's very difficult. It's not difficult. Just as we said, equate denominator to 0. Solve this. If it's a linear equation, collect like terms, divide, you get your answer. If it's a quadratic equation that is in the denominator, if it's a quadratic expression that is in the denominator, equate to zero, use factorization, and get the values of x, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know how you feel about this video. Don't forget to click the like button, drop your comment in the comment section, and don't forget to share our videos. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. We appreciate so much for making our time to visit Joshua Oku Online Mart. Bye-bye for now.